Watch your back, Benny Alden called to his sister Violet, who was dribbling a soccer ball across their front yard. Their older brother Henry was hot on her trail, trying to get the ball. Violet quickly passed the ball to Benny. Their sister Jessie lunged at Benny to steal the ball away, but just in time, Benny shot the ball between the two cones set up at the edge of the yard. Goal! Benny cried. Nice play, Violet said, giving Benny a high five. They were both grinning proudly, even though Violet was ten years old. And Benny only six. They just won the soccer game against twelve-year-old Jesse and fourteen-year-old Henry. Good job! Their grandfather James Alden called from the other side of the yard, where he'd been playing goalie for Violet and Benny's team. Jesse collapsed in a heap on the grass, out of breath. Good game, you guys! Watch the family dog ran over to Jesse and began licking her face. Hey, watch! Jesse said. We needed you on our team. He could have been our goalie," suggested Henry with a laugh. He plopped down beside Jesse. The Aldens were all sitting on the grass, catching their breath, when they heard a voice calling from the edge of the yard. "Hello!" They looked over to see their neighbor, Florence Murray, walking toward them. She was a small woman with bright blue eyes and white hair. With her were a bearded man and a young girl whom the Aldens didn't recognize. The man was wearing a tweed jacket. The girl had big brown eyes and blonde hair pulled up in a ponytail. She looked a little younger than Violet. Hello. The Aldens called back as they all got to their feet. Watch ran to greet the visitors. I want to introduce my brother and my niece, Miss Murray said. This is Arthur and his daughter Claire. They'll be staying with me for a little while. These are the Aldens whom I was telling you about. Nice to meet you, Mr. Alden said, shaking Arthur Murray's hand. Welcome to Greenfield, said Henry. Watch barked, and everyone laughed. I guess Watch is saying welcome too, said Jessie. My brother is a history professor. He's staying with me while he does some research at the Greenfield Library," Miss Murray explained. "We saw you playing soccer," said Professor Murray. "Claire loves to play soccer, don't you, honey?" Claire ducked her head and turned away shyly. "You should join us," said Violet. "My team could use another player." Jessie laughed. "We're the ones who need another player." Claire gave a timid smile. But she remained partly hidden behind her father. What sort of research are you doing, Arthur? Mister Alden asked. I'm writing a book on the railroad and how it has affected our country's history, Professor Murray said. We've got a piece of railroad history right here in our yard, said Henry. You do, Professor Murray said, raising his eyebrows. Wait till you see! cried Benny, running around the house to the backyard. Watch chased after him. Follow me! Benny shouted. Professor Murray stopped in his tracks when he saw where Benny was leading them. Is that a real antique box car? He asked, staring in disbelief at the bright red train car nestled among the trees at the back of the Aldens' yard. It sure is," said Jessie. "Come and see." Professor Murray walked quickly across the yard. When he reached the box car, he placed his hand gently on the outside, and ran his hand along the wooden panels. He turned to the Aldens. Where did you find it? How did it end up here? The Aldens looked at one another and grinned. It's kind of a long story, Jessie began. You see, our parents died, and we were supposed to go live with our grandfather. She smiled at Mister Alden. But we didn't know him," said Violet, "and we were afraid he wasn't nice. So we ran away," Benny added. Now Henry took up the story. We found this old box car in the woods, and made it our home. But when we finally met Grandfather, we realized he wasn't mean after all," Violet said. So we came to live with him here in Greenfield. And grandfather had the box car moved to the backyard for us," said Benny.